just getting the hang of this right now. Sean is very kindly giving me his camera and I got my microphone now, so I'm doing it all by myself and then sending it to Sean so he can make it look the way it needs to look. So this is actually take two because I sat down and I was looking at the camera and uh, I got halfway through it and then I was like, no, not the audio. The audio is not on. So I had to restart and do it again. Um, how and ever. If this is your first time joining the channel, welcome. Um, and if you've been repeatedly coming back, thank you very much. Uh, the one thing I'm not going to do here is talk about uh, or ask for subscriptions because, to be honest, I look at a lot of YouTube videos and every single YouTuber, it's... And uh, you can like and subscribe here. And if you ring that bell notification, do it over here. And I'm just like, oh... I hear that and I'm just like, Ugh. and if I do really appreciate the video, I'm going to subscribe anyway. So, you know, you do you what you need to do. But I'm thinking, you know, the other thing I was thinking about, actually, I'll probably get something that would be somewhat of an inconvenience to me, right? I was thinking like, actually, I'm going to boom, 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 get the ring the bell. Because it's like, you know, smash the subscription button. It's like I'll smash something because really it's a pain in the ass when you keep hearing that in every single YouTube video. So um, that's my entry. And uh, so let's get to it, right? So I'm Luke with Al's TV. Uh, we like to talk about everything here from cannabinoids to cryptocurrency. And today we're actually going to be talking about our Owl's Delta 8 cartridges, which apparently are burnt, are tasting burnt. At least that's what somebody uh, emailed us today or a couple of days ago. And I'll pull up the email right now for you. Hi, I bought my first Owl's cart, felt the buzz, but tasted weird. My battery, though, only has one setting and it is used for Delta 9 cartridges. I think my voltage is 3.4 or 3.7 volts. <laughs> right, if you, if, if that is like, it, that is like, no wonder it, it tastes terrible. It, it would taste terrible because you're literally roasting it. It's like you've completely ruined the terpenes and it's like you're cooking a meal and you put it on too hot and then it's like, here. Here, why don't you eat this? And it's like, this looks terrible. It smells terrible. It's burned. That's exactly what's happening with, uh, that's exactly what's happening right now with, um, with this cartridge. So basically, if you, if you don't know, Al's cartridges are, are very different from other cartridges. The main reason is, is that we use quartz coils versus ceramic. And quartz is far better at retaining flavor because you can operate it at a much lower voltage. So what does that mean? Lower voltage means lower heat. Lower heat means more terpenes are preserved. Less uh, amount of battery being used means higher battery usage. So um, with our cartridges, it's always important to be utilizing it at a voltage range between 1.6 to 2.8 volts. Uh, getting anything below like that sub two 2.2 volts is is sort of hard to come by just on a regular battery uh, we do supply our own batteries here we're currently sold out but uh, it is something just make sure that you should really know hey I like to vape well you got to ask the questions what type of coil is this um, what is what are you looking to achieve are you looking for flavor are you looking for vapor um, so we have our one point six volt setting this is my personal favorite it's the flavor saver I like flavor, I like savoring flavor. I'm not like, look at the big clouds. Um, we have the balance, which is nice and in between. That's at 2.2 volts. And then we have the cough to get off, which is 2.8 volts. So if you were using a ceramic cartridge, you'd probably use that on the 2.8 volts because that would be a lower setting for ceramic. Um, so it's just extremely important. So I, I responded and I said, hey, that voltage is way too high. 
uh, we have quartz coils that typically go from 1.6 to 2.4 volts. Your cart will taste burnt if you have your voltage that high. And, uh, and basically said, okay, I'll find a lower voltage. And then, um, and then she responded and said, um, uh, let me see here. Thanks, I'm, I'm sure it will make a better experience. My local shop has your carts and the platinum ones. I will look at my local CBD stores to see if I can find one. First Delta 8 cart and a disposable, uh, but they often clog a lot. Um, not ours, the previous ones. Um, and then I just said, yeah, the voltage is the issue. You need to change it. And then basically said here, um, way better. So he says, um, way better. Uh, got the pen lowest at 2.8 volts. Sucked. Uh, sucks that I wasted over a quarter of the oil. Um, so yeah, I know that's obviously tough. And then also here, I uh, also said, uh, like I said, I'm a Delta 9 user, but heard about Delta 8. Wanted it to work. Um, uh, wanted it for my work because I travel a lot. So first one I bought was from a small CBD shop, disposable and 800 milligrams, wasn't bad, but clogged a lot. Felt a little buzz, so I heard, uh, so I heard, uh, so I heard was high dosage. Um, so when searching uh, to, a lot, uh, to a lot of my local CBD shops and the cleanest CBD shop, friend referral, uh, they had y'all's products and a few others. Lady working there said owls were the best carts they had and not too pricey. My CBD joint started charging 60 to 70 a cart. Boom! Yes, I love hearing that. I love hearing that. Because that's where we want to be, right? It's like people come and they tell us, yo, we were told that your carts are the best carts. And I didn't tell them to say that. They said that to the customer without me being there or anyone else being there and so that just uh that was huge that was great it made me happy um and uh yeah basically said so i bought it but before i locked looked all of y'all up must be somewhere in tennessee y'all uh so i bought it before i looked y'all up and seen the reviews all seems good so bought it monday felt buzzed but tasted bad but hopefully it'll be better once I get the pen. I got the strawberry cough. She said the platinum are really good, but $80 is a little much. So overall, main takeaway here is that Al's carts are not going to taste burnt if you have it on the right setting. In fact, Al's carts will be the best tasting cart that you've ever had, especially considering this beauty, and if you didn't know, we won first place for best hemp product for our Delta 8 cartridges. Oh yeah, let's go, best babe, so yeah. So that's it for today. Nice and amped up after, you know, it was like, I don't know if you saw there, but it was like I was reading through the email, and then boom, I got this like, yeah, your cards are great. I'm like fired up now, as always. Want to keep putting out more content. And as always, thanks to each and every one of you. I genuinely, I really do care about our YouTube, our YouTube parliament. I appreciate all of you watch these videos. And I appreciate when you send me emails. And uh, when I hear from you, I appreciate it when you drop the comments. So... Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.